amp himself. Dylan's just using vapor style. It's the same concept. Yeah. By the this way, real quick on the boil release, I already know the counter to this, but I'm going to say this anyways. This is unrelated. But since you and Mello and Keto and everyone else want to complain about Boy Release so freaking much in the Jigen fight, I don't think Naruto knows how to use Boy Release. Kokuo activated it for Naruto. That's one point that out. I'm fine with that. But if Naruto, first of all, Naruto can talk to the tail bees. As That's shown in the thing. anime, which yeah. is so canon. But <laughs> why isn't Naruto asking, just saying, hey, Kokuo, I'm fighting this guy 10 times stronger than Kaguya and anyone else I've ever fought. I'm actually getting my ass whooped. Mm -hmm. Do you think you would mind just telephone helping me out for a second, buddy? I know. Uh, two other aspects of this <laughs> is the first aspect. I'll, I'll say this is the weaker point. But we don't know the side effects of boil release. Like, hypothetically, if it's just boiling your chakra away, just using oodles and noodles of it to where you're just going to be out of chakra in like a minute, then it's not really worth it. Whatever. Well, that's definitely not what happened in the war. Well, he didn't use it for long, so we don't know how much chakra it used. Or I it don't think it lasts for long, honestly. I could just be wrong on that. I, I thought, I interpreted it as that it just doesn't last that long. Well, I think the, yeah, that's almost the point as well, is again, like, I'm just listing that as an example of what one side effect could be. It could have other side effects of if he, if Naruto stays in the form too long, his body's gonna overheat. This could be another thing. Yeah, I mean, all of those things would make sense. I will say, from my memory, the data book does not address this. But those should yeah. be there, honestly. So even if it's yeah. kind of a retcon, I think that would just be a good retcon anyway. Like, that should just yep. be... It would be the reason not to use it for long, essentially. Or at the very uh, least... Because as it is, we don't know why it doesn't last long. Yeah, at the very least, a very similar explanation to the eight gates to where it's really strenuous on the muscles, so it's going to fatigue you much quicker. Yeah. It's a very easy, you know, ability to just add those drawbacks to, which they didn't do exactly. in Naruto, but they yeah. realistically should have. But anyway, um, so but the, I mean, like, honestly, though, for Naruto, though, he's not in a situation to worry about that. Like, he kind of just needs to go for it. So, yeah. Well, the, the second yeah, point, I, I would still be like, hey, I wish he did it if he has it or if he doesn't have it. I just wish the story made that clear. Yeah. The second, no, I agree. The second point I wanted to bring up, and I didn't think about this, Thunder God brought this up in one of his videos, is that when we look at what Boyle Release actually did, you can say whatever you want about the amplifier or whatever, but Boyle Release didn't make Naruto notably stronger. Like, what he did in Boyle Release wasn't impressive. I mean, he broke out of his uh, hole that he was stuck in, and then he, like, hit Kaguya or whatever. And she took no damage. Pretty good. And it wasn't, like, crazy. It wasn't Baryon mode level amp. It was pretty good. She took no it's, damage. But, again, like, my thing is this. And Kaguya was like... Yeah, they weren't damaging Kaguya regardless. Well, but... well Kaguya was dodging Sasuke's perfect Susano sword. Like, she was going out of her way Anyway, my, my point is... My point is this, regardless of what anyone else's point is, it's not that Naruto would have won if he used it. It's that if it's a 2% increase, I don't care that it's small. Why aren't you using it? Like, why wouldn't you use everything you have at your disposal? If it might work, use it. Why wouldn't you? So... I don't, and, and, and like obviously for the story, I wouldn't want it to work. I would want Jigen to just overpower Boil Release and make it look even more futile. It only makes Jigen look more fearsome, and it only makes Naruto look like he gave more. It, it just, I think it's just better. <laughs> well, let's put it. Whereas, so, yeah, yes. You don't use it. I, now, I can understand not using something blatantly harmful, like, don't use, I don't know, Onko's twin line snake jutsu thingy that you can't even use in the first place. 
and die. Don't use the Reaper Death Seal before you know you can win the tug of war. Yeah, I get that, but that's not Boyle releases scenario. Yeah. Well, we don't know, ne necessarily know that. It's possible if he uses bo boy release, he can't use a stronger form that he has at the same time as he's using boy release. Like We just don't know what is up with that there. But, no, we know that's not true. He used boil release while using 6 pass Senjutsu and casing up. Clearly, he can do both. Well, I, I, what I mean by that is we don't know what he can and can't stack it on top of. From that's what we saw in Naruto... He can just stack boil release of whatever else he was doing. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um. And again, again, that's it's not a good excuse because the story doesn't paint that picture. That's fine if all that's true, but then you just gotta say so. Because otherwise, as far as we're led to believe, yeah, he can't just stack all this shit, and it would have just amped him from whatever he was doing. Nothing indicates the opposite direction. It only indicates that direction. While we don't know for sure, sure, whatever, it, that's the it direction we're led into. So if we're, the truth is the other direction, you got to make that clear. I'm still going to critique it. Okay, counterpoint. I don't care what Naruto and Sasuke said. They weren't going all out, and they shouldn't have been going all out yet. I the agree. fight didn't ended the fucking majestic before they attire. got to that point. Uh huh. Yeah, I will say though, it is kind of annoying for them to say they're going to go all out and then they just don't. Well, no, I think if anything, like they don't explain this, but I think if anything, that's an interesting battle tactic to confuse or trick your enemy. Yeah, well, it definitely didn't work enemy. out. And once they saw that it wasn't working, they should have, uh, Gotten their act together then, I guess. Well, but the point... I mean, let me ask you this. Yeah. Because that's not what the, was happening. Instead of Jigen... Instead of Jigen kicking through the Susano and then uppercutting Naruto's Krom avatar, you have that. Versus, if they made the majestic attire and Jigen just, you know, kicked through that and uppercut it too for good measure. So he just does both on the majestic attire. Which would you have preferred? He does it separate, like, as is, or he does it to the Majestic Attire. Like, they just go into that. Like, what was Shiki fight? I don't understand the question. <laughs> okay. In the Jigen fight, uh -huh. Naruto and Sasuke have their Susano and Kurama avatar separate. Yes. With me so far? Yes. Jigen oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I like it the way it is now. Uppercuts. I like it the way it is now. Really? Yeah. Because he's dismantling them one by one instead of both of them together. Which is what he does in the Ishiki fight anyways by separating them. I guess. But like, why doesn't Naruto and Sasuke like try? <laughs> That's boring, <laughs> first of all. But, but no, that. but again, this is getting my point that I don't think you're understanding this fight anyways of, oh, well, why don't they just get their act together because it's not working? What do you think they're trying to do? Not that. <laughs> so obviously they're trying to win and they're going for the kill. So here's my can, prop. No, but... here's no, here's the yeah. thing. Okay. So what you just said, I actually do really like dismantling them one by one, blah blah blah. The problem is the picture they're painting of Ishiki, just listen to Amato talk about him. It's not about his dangerous ability and his dangerous tactical mindset so much as it is his raw power that is what they're really going for. Like, yeah, he is intelligent and he does have hacks abilities, but the main thing they focused on was his raw power that just overpowered them. And if that's what you're going for... Well, yeah, it does just work better if he beats the Majestic Attire, unlike Mabushiki. If you're going to focus on the way he dismantles his opponent, basically, intelligence and his abilities and all that jazz, that's awesome. I prefer that. Make Mabushiki the raw power and Jigen more of the brains. But then focus on that. <laughs> like, actually make that the thing. 
but they didn't do that. Yeah, Momoshiki should have been the brains, and then Jigen should have been the raw power. But that's also not necessarily the comparison I was getting at either. So what I'm getting at is they understand going to this fight that Jigen is the leader of Karin, that he has tremendous power. And the Sasuke even tells him he has the Tin Tails and all that. So they understand he's probably stronger than them, but they're ninja. They've never fought him before. They don't need to defeat him. They'll Bro, try no, to. They can. No, no, but no. no. They, they were acting. They were talking trash. They thought they were going to whoop this dude's ass until he whooped their ass. Sasuke said he's bad news at the start of the fight. And you know what they said? Who cares? We're going to beat his ass. And no, he doesn't say he's bad news at the start of the fight. He says he's bad news when he activates the Susano. Whatever. I know, but whatever. What I'm trying to get at... What I'm getting at is by beating them, they don't have to just rock his socks off. They just have to win the fight. In the same way with the Ishiki fight. They're not going into it thinking that they're just going to wham hammer on him. The point is to exhaust Ishiki. It's not to defeat Ishiki. It's to get Ishiki to the point where well, he defeats Ishiki himself. Well, the Ishiki a different scenario. Their mindset's completely different in that one. I don't think that's necessarily the case. Yes, it is. Their mindset in the Jigen fight was they were going to defeat Ishiki. Or sorry, defeat Jigen. The mindset with the Ishiki fight was they were going to stall Ishiki for as long as possible before dying. Which will inevitably defeat Ishiki. Yes, but the Jigen fight, they're not going into it with the expectation of dying and stalling. They're going into it with the expectation of just flat out winning the normal way, the way they beat Mabushiki. Then, okay, let me ask you this. Why don't they start in their majestic attire? Because, well, multiple reasons. One, they never do that. And two, they don't. Ex they're not expecting this from Jigen in the first place. They're not expecting him to be that strong. Naruto thought he was going to 1v1 this dude. <laughs> they're expecting him to be strong. Naruto already fought him in his house. He knows how strong. He's a leader of Kara. Yeah, he expects him to be strong. But he wasn't expecting to lose with Sasuke's help. He was expecting to be able to win on his own, initially. Okay. They so, don't, I mean, like I said, one, they never just start yeah, fights let, Let's that go way back to that. Why the don't they place? do that? Most ninja don't start with their strongest jutsu. But why? Why don't most ninja start with their strongest jutsu? Lots of reasons for it. Go with I the, mean, you already the, know the obvious. You the don't biggest just one. show your trump card at the beginning of the fight. You know, it's kind of a... Why? Common... I'm trying ninja. to get to a point here. But I think you have pretty much getting to it. You just get to your point, Udi. Like I, I, I like I, oh, even if I don't come to the words, I already know. Just, just go ahead. Because you want to feel the opponent out, and you want to do so by using as little of your yes. own energy as possible. And so, yes. if Naruto and yes. Sasuke can exhaust Jigen he... while also using as little of their own chakra as possible to learn his abilities and how he works, despite his power, then they can just win that way. They're just the first half, well, really, the entirety of the battle, because Jigen ends it early. What they're doing up through the end of the fight is just learning how Jigen fights. Yes, and I agree with all that. So here's the thing you can either say, okay, well, in the Momoshiki fight, they kind of just jumped to the Majestic Attire a little bit sooner and they could have tried. I know Jigen's kind of beating their ass, so they don't really get as much of an opportunity as with Momoshiki, who's kind of just standing there and letting him do it. But it's not even like, it's not like, Naruto, come here to the Majestic Attire or whatever. But honestly, long story short, I would have just preferred that they focused on Jigen's fighting style. He dismantles his opponents. He's strategic. He took them out one by one, all that jazz. Something Mabushiki didn't do so well. And that was the thing. He was, like Jigen said about Sasuke, Naruto, you might be strong, but Sasuke... You're the dangerous one. I would have liked to see a similar thing between Momoshiki and Ishiki where, yeah, Momoshiki is strong, but Ishiki, he's the dangerous one. I would have preferred if that was more the approach, but they kind of just dropped it in favor of, 
yeah, he's a dangerous one, but it's because he's powerful, not because of, you know, his mind and all that jazz. But anyway, I, I, that's, that's my stance on that. Okay. I mean, you do realize they did almost win. Regardless of what you think about that, you do realize that. Yeah, they were. There was a tough fight. They, they was very close. I agree because their you tactic know, it, that I they mean, were going for. The reason for, they almost won is almost because she ends breaking down. Yeah, but yeah, which again is what they were sort of going for. No, it's not, Udi. They didn't know that was going to happen. No, they obviously didn't know it was going to happen. But clearly, they were letting Jigen exhaust himself more than they were going to exhaust themselves. Or at least they would try for that. I disagree, bro. They were just ramping up when they saw he was dangerous. And then, you know... I don't think they were going with that mindset at all. I don't think it's a random. I don't have much else Well, I think it's a mindset. It's not a Jigen fight specific thing. I think pretty much every Shinobi ever goes into every fight like that. Definitely not every Shinobi ever, but... Pretty much. No, a lot of fights aren't. With oh, that, yeah, there are fights with that approach, of course. But... Especially considering how much endurance like Naruto, Naruto has wasn't compared to other Shinobi. Fighting Neji with the approach of Neji exhausting himself first. Naruto doesn't do that in almost any of his fights. Start with that. Well, Naruto's not intelligent. Sasuke with Data are very str- one of the most strategic fights in Naruto. He's not trying to let Data exhaust himself. He's just confirming his theories. A counter data uh, more so than anything else, which he does. Neji versus Kinomaru. Kinomaru's not trying to exhaust Neji's chakra, he's just wearing him down with the arrows physically, you know, looking for his blind spot. Itachi I'm... versus Nagato, and that uh, he just dismantled the abilities. He's not trying to exhaust Edo Tensei, obviously. Like, point to a fight. In particular, you're thinking of Conway. I can't understand how you want me to lead the conversation, and then you just choose to speak ninety percent of the time. <laughs> Too much passion, and I'm getting <laughs> sick of it for today. <laughs> That's a contradictory things you just said, but whatever. Kami, my point is that not everyone in Naruto <laughs> is Naruto. Ninety percent of the shinobi can do like two to three jutsu before they're just out of chakra. Like that's just how most fights in okay, Naruto. Okay, I'm talking go. about the relevant fights, not the uh, oh, the fights God. that would happen on missions that we don't see. My point is that that's how a lot of shinobi absolutely should and do approach fights, regardless if they say it or not. Because again, a lot of shinobi just don't have a lot of chakra reserves, and so if the other shinobi can waste chakra while you're just learning or not being hit by it. That's obviously good for you. Okay, but here's the thing. That's fine if the average ninja in the world operates under that. And so first off, obviously, like I've already alluded to. Okay, but the the main characters of the story, this doesn't okay, really fine. apply to. Let's go for the never mind strongest characters Jigen, at the time. Naruto and Sasuke can okay, clearly let's just let him, let's just let talk. This dude is not one of your... Out of Use his three jutsu and out of chakra ninja, and Sasuke said he absorbed ten tails chakra. <laughs> it implies that he's got something in stock. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> Look at all the other things. Like Naruto's calling out Delta for using her high chakra beam things, and then Naruto also uses all of his chakra to make Delta like overpower her eyes or whatever. This is clearly a thing that Naruto's aware of for for every other shinobi as well. These chakra yeah, powerhouse you know, like monsters. Fight when Naruto actually thinks about the strategy of how he's going to do that, and then he doesn't do it here or any other fight. That's a Delta only fight tactic. I'm sorry, bro. He ain't thinking about that with Yotsuki. So it's only when he comments on it. Because again, he's using a lot of high chakra attacks. Naruto and Sasuke would be aware of this. Not the Jigen fight. 
I guess you okay the shadow clones, yeah, but Naruto's not worried about running out of chakra on these things. He literally points it out the delta. I meant Jigen, not Naruto. He wasn't using so much too much chakra before the V2 power up. Listen, listen, but... you can't say that when he ran out of chakra. <laughs> okay. Having absorbed ten tail chakra. Yeah, I that. said, I said, I said before the V two. I don't care. Yeah, at that's what he point. runs out. That's why he's avoiding using V two. Okay, but then at that point, it doesn't matter because the fight hasn't even started yet. Neither of them are really using a lot of chakra. Then it's just about learning the other person's move set. No, the fight started. Hasn't really oh started. This wife is being a pain in the ass. It's like Kakashi Might versus Obito when they're fighting with their clones before they fight. Yeah, but it's still the fight. Like even if it's not like the the climax of the fight, it's the the fight has begun. Okay. <laughs> That's dumb to say. <laughs> Like when did when do you consider the Kakashi versus Obito fight as having started? I uh, sorry, you're cutting out for me. It's probably my Wi-Fi, but can you say that again? When do you consider the Kakashi versus Obito fight as having started? Okay, I can't hear you at all now. Oh really? Um, Gabby. Oh there. Yeah, am I good? Okay, I hear you now, but I didn't hear what you said. Okay. When do you consider the yeah. Kakashi versus Obito fight as having started? Their Genjutsu stuff wasn't... Let me see that. Let me just double check yeah, this, I would not but... count that as part of the from fight. From what I remember, anyway... I'd say that's, like, reconnaissance. The Genjutsu stuff wasn't them fighting, though. That was just him, like, showing Kid, Obito, and Rin. It wasn't... And the Kakashi, like... Chidori is like the Genjutsu to say, yeah, I don't want to see this. They weren't fighting, they were talking with that. Just, well, if and I what about after right that? Now. Anyway, you know, obviously, if they're. Uh, I, mean, I, I don't know, know why like you're saying this anyway. Look, that's, that doesn't answer my, my open ended question. <laughs> when does a fight start? <laughs> not when does it not start? <laughs> So I'm not going to count the uh, the group fighting stuff where it's Kakashi plus other people because that doesn't seem to be what you're implying. I mean, this is just going on. I've only watched this once. My memory of the fight, they do the Genjutsu, then they say, okay, done Genjutsu, fight begins, and they run at each other and start Yeah, I would agree. <laughs> Taijutsu. He's like, I'm sick of this Obito. Start of exactly, yes, exactly. Yeah, so I would agree. So I would say up to that point, it's about like reconnaissance if you want to consider it something like that. They're just gathering information on each other. Wait, what? Yeah, they're gathering information on each other. Neither side is in risk of losing, quote unquote. They were gathering information. Oh, wait. You talk about the Taijutsu part? Wait, what are you talking about? For with that? The Genjutsu or Taijutsu? Like, the first time the Genjutsu things, like, stab themselves right before they finally fight. No, brother, the... let me go back and look at this again. You're thinking of two different scenes. Or, well, you're really combining yeah, the two I, scenes I, into one. <laughs> I, like I said, I only watched the Warwick once. I was not, I, my memory of the Warwick isn't, like, my, the rest of the series, That's so... Fine. Right, anyway, let's just move past this. I, I... Okay. I'm just saying, it's like very clear in our terms of figuring out Jigen's abilities. But, okay, if, we're gonna lead the if you're going to lead the conversation, it can't be something we're disagreeing on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to Baryon mode. 